Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen, and this week we are transforming my friend and her sister's apartment. So this is gonna be a girl's apartment makeover. We're gonna be transforming their common areas. So the dining nook here, as well as this living room lounge space. They're working with hand-me-down furniture right now, and they're willing to part with it. So we are partnering with Article to transform this space and make it all happen. This is the perfect opportunity for new furniture because this sofa right now is being held up by a piece of wood. So. I think it's had its time. They've got enough use out of the sofa. I can't wait to give them new furniture in this space. So thank you so much to Article for sponsoring this video. I'm very excited because both sisters have two different design styles. For the most part, they said surprise me, but I would say that my friend Sammy has a little bit more of a modern, high contrast, black and white style that she leans towards. And Shannon has a little bit more of that boho whimsical style. So we're gonna be merging the two so that both sisters absolutely love their entire apartment space. For this makeover, we are working with all of the existing elements. The kitchen, the floor, the walls, all of that is not going to change, but we're going to lean into it, make it work, and transform the space with furniture and decor. I think it can go such a long way. I am going to be leaning into the art that I found in the apartment. So Shannon has painted a bunch of these paintings with a lot of the terracotta peachy color in it, and I think we can bring that color into the space even more. The one thing I do notice in this space is that it's very dark. The only light fixture we have is this plug-in lamp that's kind of leaning over and falling over. So we're going to light the space up, brighten it up, and I think a lot of the furniture and decor is going to help with that as well. Anyways, I can't wait to show the sisters their new apartment at the end of the week. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And let's go ahead and get this place empty. We actually have a lot of space to work with there. I did a little rough floor plan on my notepad and now I can take these measurements and start looking for some furniture. I am so excited. I'm gonna be looking for furniture on Article because they have really great high quality modern pieces that could just transform a space. Sammy really wants furniture that she can take with her from this apartment to the next one and just have for a long time. I love that you can get the furniture quickly because I do like to make things happen pretty fast. I'm really loving this Landry sectional. It's upholstered with Simple Care, a high performance stain repellent fabric. It's great for families, pets, chronic snack spillers. <laughs> That's amazing. That's exactly what we need. So that is my jumping off point. That's the first piece that I'm starting with. Then I'm going to start building off and finding all the best pieces to really furnish the rest of the space. I always recommend making a mood board like this, especially if you're shopping online for furniture. If you are looking at different pieces and wanna see what it all looks like together, make sure you put all of those images on one page. This will give you an idea of what your space is gonna look like before you get started. Good morning, everyone. It's day two of this makeover. I just stopped to get a coffee before heading over to Sammy and Shannon's place. Today is delivery day for most of the furniture, so I'm very excited to see all of the pieces that I picked all together in real life, test everything out. It's always an exciting day. But before the delivery people come, I want to lay down the rugs that I chose, style them properly so that all the furniture can be built on top. I think the rugs are gonna play a huge role in this design because right now the original flooring is a warm tone wall-to-wall -wall carpet and a cool tone flooring. So to mix those two together, we're going to create a new base with rugs. The living room here does have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, but I'm going right over top of it with a large eight by 10 rug. It's a diamond check pattern, which is a little bit modern, playful, graphic, but it's also a classic rug that you can keep long-term. It has both the warm tones and the cool tones so it really ties together all of the flooring in this space and gives us a new base.
In the dining room, I brought in this round ivory jute rug. This brightens up the dining space. It kind of tones down the busyness of the existing flooring. And I love a good jute rug. It adds so much texture. It's really neutral and timeless. If you're doing rugs like this that are somewhat side by side or in an open space, make sure that you do one that's more neutral and simple and one that has the graphic pattern or else they might be competing. These work really well together. Now to prevent your rugs from sliding around, make sure you use rug tape. This is my favorite way of keeping rugs in place. It works on carpet and flooring, so you can use it in any space, and it definitely keeps the rug in place. There's no movement at all. Your rugs won't become a tripping hazard, so rug tape is always a must have in every single space. It looks like our article furniture is just around the corner. I'm so excited to show you guys what I picked out for this space. Article offers front door delivery almost anywhere in the US and Canada for a flat rate of $49, and they have free shipping available on orders over $1,000. I highly recommend the in-room assembly service. This saved me so much time. They came in, dropped off all the furniture, built everything, assembled it all, took away the recycling, and were so nice and friendly the entire time. I just loved it. So this is a must-have service. Wow, this is why I love Article. They make it so easy to transform a space just through furniture. This sectional is already changing it up in here. This is the Landry sectional. It's brand new at Article. The swooped arms are beautiful. I love that each side of the sectional is one solid cushion. It just gives a very clean, classic look. This is such an upgrade from their old sectional. I think they're gonna love it. I'm very excited about this piece. This is the loud floor mirror, also tying together the dark wood tone from the kitchen. So it is the perfect thing for this corner. Wow, this Evers chair is literally a work of art. I love that it just feels like a sculpture in here and it creates a conversation space in here. As soon as you add an accent chair into a sectional situation like this, it makes it so much easier to gather around a coffee table and converse. I'm finishing off the side of the sofa with this Vena side table. I've used this before for my sister's living room makeover and it's just such a good quality table. I always like to bring in some flexible seating. Ottomans like this really make the perfect addition to any living room or family room. They make a space more comfortable and flexible. So you can move this over to the dining table to get more seating around the table. And you can also move this around the future coffee table once I get that built. Now, I really wanted to add some closed storage in here, something that can fit everything inside of, close up and you don't see the mess. The top can be used as kind of their entryway table, a styling opportunity, but the inside can hold everything away. Now over here in the dining room, we brought in this gorgeous dining table. I love a good round dining table, but this one is super sculptural, which kind of plays with the sculptural chair in the living room and adds that modern touch. These are Articles Rust dining chairs. Stunning, I've always been a fan of them. They come in so many different colors and they're kind of a modern twist on a traditional classic design. I think when you're pairing dining chairs with your dining table, go for a high contrast look. Your tables and chairs don't have to match perfectly. I actually love the way this came together. I cannot wait for the girls to see all of their new furniture. They're gonna love it. I'll have all of these pieces linked down below in the description box in case you wanna check them out as well. This makeover is all about balance and how we can balance out all of the tones throughout the apartment to make it make sense. So bringing in another dark wood element to match with the kitchen design, bringing in another round shape to match with the dining table. It's all about doing the same thing in both spaces to make for a cohesive design. All right, it's day three of this makeover. Everything is looking so good and we're not even done yet. So today I have a task rabbit coming to help me install some things. I don't yet know how to change out a light fixture on my own and I don't really want to test it out on someone else's place. So I hired a professional to come in and help me install a new light fixture. I want something that is a little bit more modern, has more style, something that's going to hang a little bit lower as well. He's also going to help build a large cabinet that's going to go here. It's from Ikea. It's a display storage cabinet that I I think it's gonna look great just finishing off that space and kind of fill in this gap here and tie in the same height as the windows. And just like that, we have a new cabinet 
and light fixture. It looks so much better already. I love the way it all ties together. The cabinet adds some extra height and fills in the awkward blank spot. The light fixture is a major improvement. It's giving off more of a warm tone. It has many more bulbs, so it's brightening up the corner. I like that it sits lower, it's black, it ties it all together. The only thing is one of the globes arrived shattered, so I just had to order a replacement. Hopefully that arrives sooner than the girls do so they don't come home to a broken light. Now we need to work on adding some light to the living room. I'm gonna bring in some light fixtures that are really gonna brighten up this space. I've been waiting to put this lamp base somewhere special. I actually thrifted this. It's huge and I found it at the Goodwill for just $29.99. I still have the price tag on it. It actually didn't come with a lampshade so I just put this simple white one on. I'm always looking for good lamps at the thrift store and this is such a good find. And then to brighten up this corner I'm just using this simple floor lamp. Now we have light coming from every corner of the apartment. I'm sure you guys already figured I'm taking down the vertical blinds. So I'm gonna be hanging these white linen pleated curtains. I like the way the pleats create texture in the curtains and it comes with all of the pleat hooks. So I just slide the pleat hook in like this, and then I'm gonna finish it off with black curtain rings. So I'm just gonna keep the clip on there and clip it right to the pleat hook. Wow, I love how this just softened this corner and brightened it up. It's gonna let light in during the day and really diffuse it nicely, but also create privacy at night. Now this large wall is definitely calling for some artwork. I wanted to bring in some color and a large art piece right above the sofa. I found this huge art piece which has the perfect color schemes and it's also a pretty neutral art piece. So if you're blending two design styles together, I think going pretty neutral with your art just to tie together color schemes is the safest bet. Anytime I'm installing something to a wall, I use my little painter's tape trick. You line up a piece of painter's tape, mark where the hangers are on the back of your art piece, stick that piece of tape onto the wall, and now you'll know exactly where you should put your screws. This really helps me visualize where the art piece should be on the wall as well, so it gives you a chance to move the piece of tape around, line it all up to have it in the perfect spot. Now the first time I came in here to check out the space, I noticed that Sammy and Shannon had a bunch of photos. They had photos pinned up of their family and friends and I wanted to continue that in a more structured way in this design. I found this really cool linen pin board and I thought it would be the perfect little addition to this wall here. I also know that Sammy loves strawberries so I found the cutest little pins that are tiny strawberries. So I'm gonna leave those up on the pin board so they can use them as they please. Okay, now I wanna tidy up around the TV here and hide all of these cords away. So I'm just using these peel and stick cord covers. They look like this. They're paintable and come with a little peel and stick backing. So you can just pop the wires inside and make it look so much cleaner. So 
So the apartment is pretty much split in half, dining and living room. I thought we could use this wall here to blend the two spaces. So I have these dark wood floating hooks. I also have them at my house and they create functional decorative storage, but it also helps introduce that dark wood tone again to wrap around the space and create even more of a seamless transition into the living room. All right, now this set of vertical blinds is also coming down. We're swapping this out for Roman shades, which I think is gonna be so beautiful. There we go, huh, that was quite the workout. I ended up going with two Roman shades instead of one full length, just because I couldn't order this full length in time for this makeover, so I thought two would work perfectly fine. These are very easy to use. There's a tab at the back that you can pull to go as long as you'd like to create full privacy, and then double pull to bring them all the way back up. So I think this is definitely an upgrade. I think they're really gonna love them. Now the last major change I'm making in here is adding wall sconces to this back wall. I love framing a large piece of art with wall sconces like this. It just helps finish it off really nicely. And these are perfect because they're battery powered. They come with the rechargeable light bulb so you don't have to use pucks or anything. And you can control the light temperature. So this is the warm temperature. You can also do cool, but I love the look of the warm light. It actually matches the chandelier perfectly. So I think this is another way that we can tie together the entire apartment. The entire apartment is feeling very, very cohesive. It's like a completely different space in here. I'm gonna head home for the night because I'm so tired from installing so many things, but tomorrow we're gonna finish the space up, start decorating, add all the finishing touches in so we can bring Sammy and Shannon back in and show them their new space. Good morning. Let's get decorating. Now I love to use coffee table books as a way of including people's interests and hobbies. I know Sammy loves vintage Porsches, so this kind of doubles as an art piece on the coffee table. Okay, all the finishing touches are in. I cannot wait for the girls to see their new place. I have one sister here to see the new place. I cannot wait to show it to her. Let's bring her in and see what she thinks of her new apartment. Are you ready, Sammy? Come on in, keep oh your God. eyes shut. Yes. I'm so excited. Oh, okay, we're gonna face this, this way. I'm so nervous. Ah, me too, I'm so nervous. Okay. okay, three, two, one. Come in, check it out. This is not the same apartment. <laughs> Dude, are you joking? And then your dining nook here. <laughs> I hate so It's so hard to explain to people who don't get it, but like, the fact that we had hand-me-downs and stuff and it just didn't yeah. feel like a home. Like it was just what we had to make do with. Yeah. This is like unbelievable. <laughs> The 
life you've created, this is a space you can actually. You can literally have everyone over. In. Yeah. Happy about that. Oh, like, uh, I'm so glad. It literally makes me happy in here. Like, I'm like, this is such a sister apartment. <laughs> it's so cute. There are like no words to thank you. Oh, like, Sammy. I, it's like the best combination of Shannon and I. Thank you so much again to Article for sponsoring this video. I'll have all of the products from Article linked down below in the description box. That was so much fun transforming this space. I feel so lucky that the girls trusted me with their apartment. I love the way it turned out and it's amazing to see what just some styling, decor, and furniture can do to your home. So I hope this video gave you some ideas on ways that you can improve your space as well. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of the apartment transformation and if there's anything in this space that you would love to do in yours. And if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!